Welcome to Dr. Inventor, the personalized research assistant for practicing scientists. Dr. Inventor is a three-year research project funded by the European Commission's Seven Framework Program. You can visit the project's website at drinventor.eu. Dr. Inventor offers its users a web-based service to explore publications that may be useful for their research but which traditional academic support tools might have overlooked. We are currently recruiting users and seeking their feedback to help evaluate the system. One central component of Dr. Inventor concerns its ability to identify novel analogies between scientific publications. Analogies, and particularly novel or creative analogies, are often associated with scientific progress or even scientific revolutions. Many of the most creative breakthroughs in science can be attributed, at least in part, to some underlying novel analogies. But what is an analogy? An analogy is a comparison between items that, at first, appear to be dissimilar. Analogies can be useful in highlighting aspects of a problem that were previously overlooked. Consider the following analogy that I will present in two parts. Suppose you are a doctor whose patient has an inoperable tumour in their stomach. It's impossible to operate, but the tumour must be destroyed or the patient will die. An x-ray can be used to destroy the tumour. If strong x-rays reach the tumour, it will be destroyed, but unfortunately all the healthy tissue that the x-rays pass through will also be destroyed. At lower intensities, the x-rays are harmless to the healthy tissue, but will not affect the tumour. The problem is what type of procedure might be used to destroy the tumour using the x-rays while avoiding destruction of the healthy tissue. I'll now present the second part of the analogy concerning a fortress. A small country is ruled by an evil dictator who lives in a strong fortress in the middle of the country. Many roads radiate outwards from that central fortress, like the spokes of a wheel. A great general wanted to overthrow the dictator, using the entire army to capture the fortress. But the roads leading to the fortress were too weak to support the entire army all at once, so a direct attack on the fortress was impossible. Instead, the general divided his army into small platoons and dispatched each to the head of a different road. When he gave the signal, each platoon charged down a different road and converged on the fortress all at once. In this way, the general was able to capture the fortress and overthrow the dictator. Looking more closely at the tumour problem and the analogous fortress story, we see that there are some deep similarities between them. The fortress is like the inoperable tumour. The country surrounding the fortress is like the stomach that surrounds the tumour. The army is like the x-rays in that they both do damage in the two scenarios. And the key to solving the inoperable tumour problem is to split the x-rays into individual beams and have them converge simultaneously on the inoperable tumour to destroy it. Just like the general split his army into individual platoons to defeat the fortress.